Okay guys, I get this question a lot, so I figured where I was building this one for my lawnmower go-kart build that I would show you guys how you take the mower deck pulley and you swap it for the drive pulley so that you can use the original setup in order to make your machine faster. Now the problem is in order to do this right you pretty much need a couple of pieces of an equipment. If you were going to do this really right you would get a metal cutting hole saw that was the right diameter and you would bore this out and then you would flip it over and you would bore the top section here out set it down on and then weld it. What I'm going to do which you don't have to have a plasma cutter like mine I use a Hobart Air Force plasma cutter. What I do is I cut it out with my plasma cutter which ends up looking something like this when I'm done and then I proceed to take the top pulley and I cut around the inside seam so that I can weld directly on top of it. So you can also do this using acetylene torches. Um, any decent machine shop should be able to do this relatively cheap or if you know somebody with plasma cutter or torches. So here we go. Let's get this done. So if you use a plasma cutter you got to clamp a ground on and got to get your torch make sure your system is on and make sure you got eye protection Alright, so at this point everything is really toasty hot, but basically you're going to take this, you're going to go douse it, you're going to take this, and you're going to go douse it, and then the next step is going to be on the inside edge of this pulley is to cut this entire top piece off so that you can set the other one on, which we'll do next. As you can see there's an edge on the inside you want to try and cut into that with the torch while leaving the second lip on. So now what we're go going to do is we're going to take this over to the grinder. We're going to grind all of this surface nice and flat. And then we're also going to take this and on its inside edge we're going to grind all of this nice and flat. That way we can set it on, line it up, and start welding. Alright, so we're back. We got the Hobart 140 humming in the background. Got our safety helmet on. And here's the next thing. You got your pulley, you got your base, and then you got a bolt with a nut. What's the point of the bolt and the nut? Well, here's what the point is. You take this, you drop it down through, get it in the hole, then you can line that up. And tighten it right onto something. Now, it's solid. So when you take your mounting clamp, you can bind your mounting clamp right to it and it won't move. So now your pulley can just go right on. Okay, so now we need to set up in order to weld. This pulley 
as you can see, is five and a half inches across, basically. So half of five and a half would be two and three quarters. So we're going to set it on, and we're going to take multiple measurements across it, lining up down through that center bolt on two and three quarters. The other thing you can also do is you can take the five and a half minus the width of this, divide that by two, and that should give you the distance to the outside edge all the way around. In this case, it's an inch and a quarter, so five and a half minus an inch and a quarter would be four and a quarter, so around this entire outside edge, you should have two and an eighth. So we'll measure that out. Alright, from here on out it's just regular basic welding finesse. Tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld. Double check your measurements, because after that there's no going back. Well to seam, well to seam, well to seam, well to seam. Okay, tack welds are done. Verify your measurements. Alright, so I'm a sixteenth of an inch off on this side. To heck with it, we're going to weld it. Alright, so at this point, this is probably good enough. Um, I, for my own security reasons, I'm going to unbolt this and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the underside edge at least in the four corners, put a good tack weld on it. But this is pretty much all you got to do. From here on, it bolts onto the engine and you're ready to go. Have fun, guys. Hope you enjoy checking out some of my other videos.